Explorer 6 was launched on August 7, 1959 at 2.24 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 17A at Cape Canaveral. Unlike Explorer 1 through 5, Explorer 6 was spherical rather than spike-shaped and it carried solar panels. It also launched on a Thor Able 3 rocket rather than a Juno 1. This allowed the 64.4 kg probe to reach a high elliptical orbit to provide data on a greater swath of space than the previous probes. Thanks to its four solar panels, it was also supposed to gather that data over an extended period of time. Like the earlier Explorer probes, it was produced by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL. Its primary goal was to further study radiation in space and cosmic rays, further assessing Earth's radiation belts. It also had micrometeorite detection and studied magnetism. Perhaps most interestingly, it was able to transmit the first pictures of Earth from orbit, and its first photo was taken at a high altitude of 27,000 kilometers. These images were, however, rudimentary, because unlike depicted in this video, the probe was spin-stabilized, which complicated the photography. It also failed to deploy one of its four solar panels, resulting in less power and more noise in the data being transmitted from high altitude. One possible reason for the failure was that deployment occurred during spin-up instead of before spin-up. Without that solar panel, Explorer 6 still managed to transmit data for two months. Placed in an orbit with a 237km periapsis, 41,900km apoapsis, and a 47 degree inclination, Explorer 6 transmitted a wealth of data before it ended its life in the atmosphere on July 1st, 1961. After the end of its active life, but before its fiery death, it also served as the target for the Bold Orion anti-satellite missile test. Bold Orion reached within 7 kilometers of Explorer 6 near the satellite's periapsis. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Explorer 6.